Today I'm getting ready to go downtown to do makeup on a bride and I'm going to begin with my eyelids and I'm going to use the, I think I've been using the Dolce & Gabbana and I like it. I'm going to be across the street from Sephora again so I would like to pick up something new. Some something new to add to my makeup look so it'll be interesting. This is a Real Techniques domed shadow brush and it's working good for this Dolce and Gabbana. I'll put some on my bottom lash line because you know I always carry my look down there. My face is tight. They just got out of the shower. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham today. I'm going to go ahead and put that on because it feels good. Oh, feels good. And it's radiant. Add just a little more because I really feel dry. I used a Alpha Hydroxy pad from my skincare kit. Ah, oh, yeah. That feels good. All right, I'm pull, uh, I was editing some videos and I noticed the look that I did with the Ring the Alarm palette from Jaclyn Hill. So I'm taking it off Poshmark because I like it so much and I'm going to use it again. I'm going to take the color Framed and put it on my brow bone. I can't imagine who would get married on Milk Day. I guess this date won't be, well, I guess it won't be Milk Day every day. I don't know. Does it fall on the same date every year or just a certain Monday every year? I don't know. Alright, that color is called Framed and it's in the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. Next, I'm going to take the color Alert and Pat that on my lid lid. This is the part that I liked so much when I was editing. It was velvety, velvety looking in the video. So I'm taking a flat shader brush. This brush is from the Jaclyn Hill, the Eye Master collection and just patting that on. Then I'm going to draw a, a line with an angle brush. This brush is probably from Sigma. Then I'm going to take it underneath. I'm going to incorporate that bottom liner look. So, what did we watch last night? Last, we're watching... I can't remember. One of the things we're watching is Silent Witness. I don't remember what the other thing is. We, we watch YouTube if there's anything worth watching on YouTube. Which there seldom is. All right, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Re uh, Gel Liner. Somebody took my magnifying mirror that I would never be, I just wouldn't be able to put liner on if I didn't have this mirror. That first line I did out there on the corner was to guide me for this, this portion of the show. Okay. I'm 
looking straight into the mirror to get this outside corner. I really prefer a, a baby wing out here. I'm going to finish putting on my eyeliner and then I'll come back. If you want to see uh, real time and unedited eyeliner video, uh, put that in the comments. But this time I'll see you in a second. All right, I have the liner on. I know, I can never leave it alone. Now I'm going back to the eyes. I'm gonna put the Mario on my waterline. There we go. Make it nice and bright. and then drag it out to the side. I really like white pencils or nude pencils for the waterline. Let's do brows. I'm going to put the brow gel on. Put the brow gel on first. I use the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue. Spiking Glue. I'm going to start with that. This really keeps them. My eyes were still spiked after five or six hours. I, don't, I think that's all the time I wore my makeup last time I did it. Those little hairs are impossible to get out of the way. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna fill in my brows with my brow gal pencil. There's the brows. I'm gonna use the Peach Perfect as my brow highlight. It's my setting powder. There we go. And now I'm gonna work on the eyes a little more. I'm gonna take some of the, I used framed up here. I'm gonna go back with some more framed. As you buff it out, it buffs out kind of a lavender. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna make it darker in the crease. Buff it out on the inside. All right, I'm going to wear lashes today, so I guess I should go get those. Be right back. I keep, I take my lashes off and I put them in a dish in the, in the bathroom. We'll pick off some of the old glue. This tube, I keep thinking it's the last, the last of it and it, it keeps having enough in it. I didn't bring my glasses in here, so I hope I get this glue on the right place. So the other day, I got up, I went to the bathroom to put my contacts in, and I opened the right side of the contact case, and I couldn't find the contact. 
And that opened, and I thought, well, I guess it stuck to my finger and I dropped it on the floor. I don't know. Then I opened the left side and there was not a contact in there either. Turns out they were still in my eyeballs. So I guess my contacts are more comfortable than I thought they were because I didn't even know they were in there. Thank you, Jenny. That was a very interesting story. I know. I know I'm not interesting. All right, I'm going to put a lash on. Y'all be real quiet. I have to focus. These are the gypsy lashes. All right, there's one. Where's browser? They're funky. I'll have to fix those in a minute. Let's focus on the brows right now. Don't get me sidetracked. Okay. Like I said, they're the Gypsy. I think they're 906. And I get them from um, Madame Madeline. Got them on. All right, let's do some more brown on the bottom. And then I'm gonna put some framed underneath that. That's the breaky color that buffs out lavender. I guess it's, I don't know. Anyway, all right, when those dry, I'll put some mascara on. This is a little funky right here. that later all right so let's do foundation so I bought the the all hours in BD 35 so let's put that on let's put that apply that to the visage I'm going to use my Mally brush again last time I did this I used the Sisley primer in what is it? The double tensor. You wouldn't think with old dry skin that I would like a long wear foundation. But I do. I'm going to bring it down my neck. I guess it's because I don't like a natural look. I don't want to look natural. If I'm going to go to the trouble to put on foundation, I want to... Any makeup, whatever makeup it is, I want it to look like I got makeup on. Drag it out over my ears just a tad. And I have curling iron burns down here on my neck. Scars. So I cover those up. Or blend them in. They don't cover up. Alright, there's that. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind underneath my eyes. Because that's my favoriteest. First of all, I'm going to run it down the middle of my nose. Put it under my eyes. My lips are dry. Let's see. I'm going to use this as my lip conditioner today. It's the Becca Hydrolite. And I know it's really pink. But it's okay. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave it that color. The color is called spray. If you like a really bright pink, I think Heather likes bright pink. You would like that lip conditioner. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my I don't know where my elf brush went. So I'm gonna take the Sigma F64 Soft Blend Concealing Brush. I know, I still have the numbers memorized. I'm going to leave that on my nose there to sit for a little bit. I want it to set up. It's really pretty. I'm going to wear, I'll tell you what this is in a minute. Yeah, I like it. It's the, uh, it's Lolly from from the Ring the Alarm palette. I don't think I like a colored highlight on the inside. come back with something different there. Let's do some mascara. I'm going to use the Extended Play Giga Black so I don't dot my lids today. And I'm only putting the mascara on the base of my lashes because I like the the false lashes to stay wispy. So I used this palette. This is an old palette. Prince uh, Park Avenue Princess for my contour blush and highlight. It's very subtle highlight, right? Now I'm going to put Oh, and the lipstick is Sultriness. It's a powder kiss by MAC. Si oh, here it is. The Cinnamon Lip Pencil by Palladio. And then the center is Chomp Loy by Christian Dior. Now I'm going to perfect the center of my face with the Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to call it that because I'm mine isn't PR. Tilbury. Mine is Tilbury. Just perfect a little bit. And then I don't want to get my, oh, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I do not want to get my hair wet. I guess I can just blow dry it. that's the look and like I said I'm going downtown I'm not dressed yet uh, so far I am gonna wear this shirt it's a diesel it's super old um, I don't ever hear anybody talk about diesel anymore but anyway it's a diesel crew neck t-shirt and I'm gonna wear it with black jeans because that's the way I roll and because that uh, where I'm going they prefer that the employees have on all black so after I get dressed and right before I walk out I'll do a outfit 
and then we'll go for a ride downtown again. Hopefully this time there'll be something interesting to see. Oh, also I wanted to remind you to get your Bride Right teeth whitening kit. Valentine's coming up. You Valentine's is coming up and you want to have pretty brilliant white smile for your your lover. Isn't that gross? Ugh. All right. Check y'all on the flip side. <laughs>